Hello everyone, welcome to Pabli Connect. Today in this video, we are going to integrate two software applications, Calendly and ClickUp. So the use case here is, whenever a new invitee is created in Calendly, automatically create task in ClickUp. Now let us know what these two software applications are all about. So Calendly is a software application where you can schedule your appointments, meetings and events. Whereas ClickUp is a project management tool. The issue here is that Calendly and ClickUp don't have any integration between them. And that is why we are going to use Pabli Connect. So Pabli Connect is an integration software which will help you to transfer data from Calendly to ClickUp. The best part here is you don't require any knowledge of coding. So let me show you this on my screen. Okay, so here I am at Google and now I will go to this URL section over here and I'm going to type pabli.com. Okay, so this is the website of Pabli and now I'm going to hover over this product section and I'm going to click on connect. Okay, so now I'm going to sign in. Okay, so now because I've already signed into my account, that is why I am here. You can also sign up for free in just two minutes. Here, I would like to mention one more thing. Pabli Connect offers a free plan where this integration can be tried out absolutely free. You just have to clone the template of the workflow. The link for the same is available in the description below the video. Once you clone the template, you will immediately get access to this workflow in your account. Okay, so now I am going to scroll down and here at connect, I am going to click on access now. Okay, so this is the dashboard of Pabli Connect and you can see so many workflows that have already been created over here. So now I'm going to create a new workflow and I'm going to click on this button over here. Okay, so now I'm going to give a name to this workflow and I'm going to name it as Calendly to ClickUp. Okay, so now I'm going to create it. Okay, so now here in choose app, first I am going to choose Calendly over here. This one. Okay, now in trigger event according to our workflow, whenever an invitee is created in Calendly, we want to create a task in ClickUp. That is why invitee created will be our trigger event over here. You can see we have one more option over here. If you want, you can select it. Now I'm going to select invitee created because this is our trigger event over here. Now you might have a question in your mind that what is this term called trigger event? Let me tell you that automations run on the concept of triggers and actions. It is all about when something happens, do this. For example, when a sale happens, send an email. In our case, when an invitee is created in Calendly, we want to create a task in ClickUp. That is why invitee created in Calendly will be our trigger event, whereas creating a task in ClickUp will be our action event. So now I am going to click on connect with Calendly. Okay, so now under credentials, you can see create new or select existing credentials. So here you have two options. Either you can create new credentials or you can select any existing credential. So here you can see we have existing credentials like this. If you want, you can just directly click on it and you can directly work on your workflow. But for now, I am going to let it be new credentials. So here it is asking us for the API key. In order to get your API key, you can read the instructions carefully. You have to go to your Calendly account. Then you can get your API key from Calendly account integrations. Okay, so I'll go to my Calendly account. I've already logged into my Calendly account over here. So now here in the top hand side, you can see integrations. So here you can see the API key is displayed over here. If you want, you can also regenerate a key, but I am going to use this key itself. So I'll copy this key from here. I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste it over here. So now this API key is going to help us to build a connection between Calendly and Pabli Connect. Now I'm going to click on save. So now here you can see a webhook URL displayed over here. So now what happens usually is that after choosing the application and after choosing the trigger event, what we do is we copy this webhook URL from here and we go and paste it inside the trigger software application, which is Calendly in our case. But here in our workflow, we don't have to do it because we have already built a connection because of the API key. So now when you click on save and send test request, what will happen is the webhook will be created automatically. The data will be sent to this URL without us going and pasting this URL in the trigger software manually. So now I am going to click on save and send test request. 
Okay, so here this API response is of the last invitee created, but here we don't want an old invitee. That is why I am going to click on capture webhook response. And now what I'm going to do is I'll go to my Calendly account and I'm going to create a new appointment. So I'll go to my Calendly account. So here I've already opened this. So I'm going to create a 15 minute meeting. Okay, so I'll just go to next month. Okay, so I'm going to create a meeting on 7th of January. I'll schedule it on 10 a.m. Okay, name. So I'll put a name over here. Isabella Johnson. Email is Isabella012 at the rate gmail.com. Meeting for new recruitment okay now i'm going to schedule this event okay so i have successfully scheduled a meeting this is a 15 minute meeting from 10 a.m to 10 15 a.m and it is on january 7th 2021 so now i'll go back to public connect so you can see public connect has already captured the data the event is here it's a one-on-one -on -one meeting it's a 15 minute meeting if you go down you can see it is assigned to devin parker if you come down you can see the date and time is here invitee end time is here invitee start time is over here if you come down you can see who is the invitee so we have created this invitee called isabella johnson the email is here time zone is here okay so now i'm going to save this Okay, so here we have successfully finished our first step integration that is integration of Calendly and Pabli Connect. Now we are going to begin with our second step integration where we are going to integrate ClickUp and Pabli Connect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this plus button and we are going to add an action step. So here I am going to choose ClickUp, this one. Now in action event, create task, connect with ClickUp. Okay, so again, you can see create new or select existing credentials. I'll again, let it be new credentials, API token. So in order to get your API token, the instruction is written over here. You can just follow them. So I've already logged into my ClickUp account. So now what I'm going to do is in my left hand side corner, I am going to click on apps. Okay, so here is our API token. If you want, you can also regenerate it. Now I'm going to copy this from here. I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste it over here. So now this API token is going to help us to build a connection between Pabli Connect and ClickUp. Now I'm going to click on save. So now here we have some fields and we have to fill the information according to our response. So first is workspace. If I go back to my ClickUp account, you can see Ashi's workspace owns the ClickUp account. That is why I let it be Ashi's workspace itself. Now space. When you click here, you can see I have four options displayed over here. I'll show you in my ClickUp account as well. So here you can see under spaces, I have these four spaces, Pabli, DLFG, Junk and Space. Now I have the option to select any space in which I want to create a task. So for now, I let it be Pabli itself. So I let it be Pabli folder name. So under Pabli, you can see I only have one folder that is integrations. That is why only integrations is displayed over here. I let it be integrations. Now list name. Under integrations, you can see I have so many lists already created. If you want, you can also create a new list. So what I'll do is I'll take this list one and I'm going to rename it. Okay, so I'm going to name it as Calendly Invitees. Okay. So now this is going to be the list where I'm going to create a task. Okay. So I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to choose Calendly one. So I'll just refresh this once. You can see Calendly invitees. Okay, task name. So here I am going to write the task name. So task name is 15 minute meeting. Okay, description. Now let us write a description. Okay, we have the invitee name. Let us go down. We have the invitees email as well. Let me map that also. Is scheduled 
on i'll put the date when is the meeting okay so meeting is on 10 am thursday january 7th okay here you can see you can use slash n to put your information in the next line so i'm going to use slash n itself okay details of the invitee okay isabella johnson we have the email also okay so i'll let the description be this much now i'll come down assignee email i have two options i'll let it be ashi tags here you can add any tag but the only thing is that you have to remember that you have to add the tags in double quotes so let me write calendly priority you have the different different options i let it be high so you can see due date and start date so here you have to write the due date and start date of the task but you have to remember that the date should be in timestamp format and in milliseconds so in order to convert the date and time to timestamp what we are going to do is we are going to add action step over here so first we are going to convert the start date then we are going to convert the due date so first i am going to convert the start date into timestamp format so i am going to use date or time formatter in action event i am going to use format date only connect with date or time formatter now in date i am going to map the start time of the event so start time and date we have it here this is 10 am thursday january 7 2021 okay so i'll take this one over here okay now we have to convert it into time stamp here this one save and send test request okay so we have our date over here it is converted into time stamp format but the thing here is that it is not in millisecond format now in order to convert it into millisecond what we are going to do is we are going to use number formatter so i'm going to add an action step here i am going to use number formatter and here perform math operation connect with number formatter numbers i am going to take our last this one that is format date in time stamp format i'll put a comma and i'm going to write 1000 because we want the date to be in milliseconds now here multiply okay we have our api response over here so now this is our start date into time stamp format and in milliseconds now i'm going to save it okay now we have successfully converted our start date now we have to convert our due date so we'll do the same process first we'll use date or time formatter and we'll convert the due date into time stamp then we are going to use number formatter and we are going to convert the time stamp date into milliseconds so i'm again going to add an action step date or time formatter action event format date only okay here i am going to enter the date of the closing of the event so 10 am thursday january 7 2021 was the start time now end time is over here you can see end time is this one so i am just going to map this one over here with the date and time okay now i'm going to convert it into time stamp this one okay we have the end date over here that is the due date i'll save it now we'll convert it into milliseconds number formatter perform math operation so now here i am going to enter our due date in time stamp format comma 1000 here multiply save Okay we have got our due date in time stamp and in milliseconds Okay now i am just going to click here so that we can refresh our workflow once Okay so now first i am going to enter our due date that was our last one so i'll just go down this is there that is fifth one so this is our due date converted into time stamp and in milliseconds start date now let us search for our start date So this is our start date converted into time stamp and in milliseconds. Status I let it be to do. Save and send test request. 
Okay, so we have got our API response. That means we have successfully finished our integration. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my ClickUp account and we are going to check if a new task is created there or not. So I'll go to my ClickUp account. So this was the list that is currently invitees. Now let us search. So you can see we have a 15 minute meeting over here. I'll just click on it. Okay, you can see 15 minute meeting. The description is here. 15 minute meeting is scheduled on 10 a.m. Thursday, January 7, 2021. Details of the invitee, Isabella Johnson and the email is here. You can see the tag was Canonly and the priority was high. You can see the created time. You can even see the start date and the due date. So we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine. Now I'm going to show you this process again with one more example so that you can understand how this integration takes place in real time. Okay, so now I'll go back to my Calendly account and we are going to create a new meeting. So this time I am going to create a 60 minute meeting. Okay, and I'll just go to next month from here and I'm going to choose a date over here. So I'm going to choose 28th and I'll keep the time as 2 p.m. Confirm. Name, I am going to put this Ryan Glasgow. Email is Ryan at the rate gmail.com. Schedule event. Okay, so I have created the 60 minute meeting over here on January 28, 2021. Now let's go back to ClickUp and check if a new task is created there or not. Okay, so you can see we have a 60 minute meeting, a task created over here. So I'm just going to open it. Okay, so you can see 60 minute meeting. 60 minute meeting is scheduled on 2 p.m. Thursday, January 28, 2021. Details are here. You can see the tag is Calendly and the priority is high. You can see the start date, the due date, everything is over here. So we have successfully finished our integration and our integration is working fine. Now I'll go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to explain you what has happened in our example. I'll just minimize all these action events. Okay, so in our workflow, what we did was first we created an invitee through Calendly and after that we used the date or time formatter and the number formatter because we wanted to convert the start date and the due date. And after that, what we did was we created a task in ClickUp. So now every time an invitee is created in Calendly, automatically a task will be created in ClickUp. So we have successfully finished the integration of Calendly and ClickUp using Pabli Connect. Not just these two software applications, but you can integrate any software application using Pabli Connect. If you have any queries, you can contact us at admin at the rate pabli.com and our team will help you. For more, you can also visit our website at www.pabli.com. Thank you.